丢东西嘛，丢丢啊，有宝宝，有宝宝，有心跳，有心跳，是啊，对对，有心跳啊，小安男友。Hi everyone, my name is Yixuan. Today I'm going to be announcing a very special news. I found out that I'm pregnant. I actually found this out about one or two weeks ago. Um, I've been married for four years, and it took quite a while for me to get pregnant because I think I didn't have a very strong body. I'm very skinny. I'm underweight, and for the past four years, I've had a really hard time getting pregnant. And sometimes when I'm late on my period, I suspect that I'm pregnant, but I'm not. So <laughs> this time it really came as a surprise and a shock for me and my husband. I suspect that I'm about eight weeks pregnant. I'm not sure about the exact timing. So today I will be going to the gynae to do an ultrasound scan, and I'm going to bring you along. And I will be recording the whole pregnancy journey, so I can share with girls, share with future moms to be, and also I appreciate any advice from experienced moms. Please do leave them in the comments for me, and I will be trying to do a monthly update on my pregnancy. So far, I don't think I'm showing anything at all.、Uh, I still look really normal. Uh, but I do find that there are changes in my appetite and my body.、Um, usually, I like to eat fish. There's this dish called fried fish noodle or sliced fish noodle in Singapore that I really like. But now, when I smell fish, I just like、mm, I I cannot take it at all. <laughs> I find it really funny, and my appetite got really small. I can only take really small meals at a time. Um, I used to be able to eat quite a big meal. When I get bloated, it leads to morning sickness, and it feels terrible. And one of the things I learned is that morning sickness doesn't occur in the morning only. <laughs> I feel nauseous even throughout the night, and sometimes it goes to the extent of waking me up from my sleep because I feel like vomiting. I've never actually vomited anything out, but I. I feel like I'm going to vomit, so that doesn't feel very nice.、Mm, but other than that, I, I feel pretty good. I feel very happy, I'm relaxed, and I'm really excited for this journey. And recently, because I'm going to be a new parent soon, I realized I know nothing about parenting at all. Even though I work with a lot of young children、um, as a music coach, I realized I don't know anything about. A newborn, or being a mom, or actually educating and bringing up a child, and ensuring the child has good education and good well-being and good mental health. So,、um, I like to prepare myself for this journey. I don't want to go inside, and I I don't want to just jump into it、um, with no research. <laughs> So I have been borrowing some books, and one of the books that I've started to read is this book called、um, "The Happiest Kids in the World" and bringing up children the Dutch way. I find it really interesting because it's very different from how I was brought up, and I think I might try a different parenting style from my own mom, who I who I would categorize as a full-on Asian tiger mom. When I was growing up, I, I want to try to be a little different.、Um, I also have been thinking because I'm a musician. Do I want my children to grow up learning music, or <laughs> I have all these kind of questions going through my mind? So there, there is a lot to think about. But that's going to be some time later. <laughs> I'm just overthinking and just trying to prepare myself for what's to come. But let's take it one step at a time. Today we're just going to do a dating scan, find out how many weeks exactly is the baby in my belly. 
Um, in case you want to see how I look like, um, my belly is still kind of flat. Uh, I don't think anyone can see that I'm pregnant yet. Um, this is the only supplement I've been taking. I don't usually take supplements. I don't take like vitamin C and all that. But um, ever since I found out I got pregnant, I've been taking this one from Blackmore's. My husband got it for me. I don't know much about all these things. But it contains uh, folic acid, iodine, DHA, vitamin D, iron, EPA. Yeah, I think that's the main things you need to build a strong and healthy baby. And also I've been thinking about the actual like childbirth journey. Sometimes I imagine myself <laughs> lying on the bed and then like my belly is huge and I actually have to push and that kind of scares me a little bit. I'm terrified of pain so I already told my husband I have to take an epidural. There's no questions about it. I cannot feel any pain at all. I need to be relaxed. I'm so scared of pain. <laughs> and um, I have read um, some things about childbirth in this book and apparently the Dutch people they think that pain is good. Pain gives you adrenaline and gives you all the endorphins and the high and the energy. So there are so many different um, perceptions about how childbirth should be done. But I think it's a very personal thing. Um, for me, I feel like I really have to use the epidural. I heard a phrase saying that um, having the epidural during childbirth compared to doing it naturally without any medication, it's like the difference is like walking across the country versus taking an aeroplane across the country. <laughs> like it's that big of a difference. So um, I'm not prepared to walk across the country. No, 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 don't worry, <laughs> not like that, don't do that. Baby <laughs> looks like a grain of happy rice, see? Just a grain of uh, rice. Now still you upset, right? Why is it? Yes, your daddy knows a bit. Daddy is doctor. Yeah. Hey, you never introduce yourself. Oh, yeah. So here, you are, you are watching the miracle of life. This is your baby, oh. your child. Okay, yeah, this is This I got eight weeks now. Looks like it. I'd okay. like to explain a few things. So you can see this whole thing is your womb, zi gong. This black color area is your water bag, uh, the oh. sui tai. Then baby is this part. I don't know, I'm going to zoom in on that area very much. This is the one. No, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. I just saw how the length is. So the length is a bit like that. I can cut it down if you don't like it. It's from this side to this side. Make sense? Make sense. Seven inches. Seven inches. I'm going to cut it down. Okay. 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 I think this length looks quite good. Let's check it out again. Ah. Mm. One end to the other end. Mm. Yeah, same. Ah, seven weeks four. So I'm quite certain it's this size now. I'm going to give you this photo to bring home. Mm. Looking at 29 of uh, April. Oh. See the date there. Okay. Hey, baby is 1.3 cm tall. Like oh. 10 cent point. Okay. Now oh. he's got a GoPro. I'm going to let him record this. <laughs> Daddy, let's listen to this. Here we are. Boom. Hmm. <gasps> Very obvious, huh? Oh my god. Hey, so you are a music teacher. The other day I got one music teacher told me, she said, What's your name? You have a TikTok, TikTok, and TikTok. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, 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 it's